Oh, well, hello there. It's me, Nobody. And today we're gonna show you a few items in this place. The Nightmare Zone of Elden Ring's DLC, Shadow of the Erd Tree. And this is a pretty big map to go exploring just to find a whole lot of nothing. This whole map here is just littered with a whole lot of nothing. Maybe a few items here and there. Along with creepy old men with big heads that like to eat your face. But we'll talk about them later. Those old geezers. They love nothing more than to say hello and eat your face off. Hello there. So here's a few things I wish I knew sooner when I entered this place and explored almost every inch of it. There's a shadow tree fragment around this area somewhere. Maybe over here. I don't know. You can go find that if you want to. But today we're going to be talking about cookbooks. Cookbooks and, and a farming location to farm winter lantern flies, cuz, you know, they're really hard to see in this place, and it's very hard to find them. I mean, for real, how are you supposed to spot that thing without the help of others? It just blends in with the rest of the environment, and how are you supposed to see that? The developers are real jokesters on this one. That Miyazaki, he's a sneaky devil. But if you want these new Frenzy Flame Pots, then they are a crafting material that is very much needed. And in very short supply around this place. It's like looking for Waldo. So while you're not getting your face eaten, and searching this place head to toe for anything, any item, whatsoever, Trust me, it's much easier just to have a guide show you where everything is. That way you won't have to explore the nothingness. And without Torrent, no less. Cause, uh, he's pretty scared of this place. And so am I. Well, that's pretty much it for the intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Because it's free and it really helps me out. You know, gotta fight the algorithm. He's a dick. I'm on Jack. Let's go get the cookbooks and farm some flies. Cause that, that's always fun. Ooh. Ah, stop it. It's a bad rat. Bad rat. This isn't a part of the video. You, you dick. Oh yeah, I'm also going to show you the exact spot and thing to kill to get the Age One's Exaltation. A talisman depicting the exaltation of the Aging Untouchable. A.K.A. Big Headed Old Men. Because, you know, that's always nice, too. So just head south, and you should find the first grace. Keep heading southeast, and you'll find a NPC patrolling the grounds, which you can murder and get a hand-to-hand -hand combat weapon, the Maddening Hand. So quickly dispose of him, and try not to go mad while doing it. And you will receive the maddening hand, same as his name. It's kind of weird, Michael Zaki. But you keep heading south. And eventually you'll stumble upon the church. But right beside the church, you'll be able to pick up the area map. Activate the grace. And just right here, you can pick up a shadow tree fragment. Also at the church, you can pick up a Frenzied Flame perfume bottle, which is tightly tucked away around one of these pillars. From the Abyssal Woods, Grace, we're going to head northwest toward this point right here. That way will be a Aging Untouchable, which we're not going to mess with him right now. And this way will be the Shadow Tree Fragment I was talking about in the intro. There will be a couple of dirty rats that guard it, along with a couple of dirty Hornset enemies. Shouldn't be too big of a challenge to take them out. So just keep heading north until you start to see the big root up there and the Hornset enemies. Just hanging out. Guarding stuff, apparently. So we're just going to run past them. I'm not even going to worry about fighting them. And we're going to quickly pick up the Shadow Tree Fragment. Ow. If you didn't know this already, the untouchable closest to the church side of Grace 
he can actually be parried and killed. It's, the timing is fairly tricky. But once you're able to murder him and pay him back for all those times he murdered you, you will get the talismans age ones of exultation, which boosts attack power every time madness is propped. And you can find him at this exact location, just west of the church. If you're looking for a method to farm winter lantern flies, other than murdering a bunch of rats over and over again in the hope that they will drop it. From the Abyssal Woods side of Grace, right slap dab in the middle of it all, just head toward the west and drop down this little cliff here. And right here, you'll be able to pick up a Winter Lantern Fly. You can go ahead and mark this location with a message. That way it will be a lot easier to find your second time back. All you gotta do is run back up this little cliffside here to the grace and rest. And just keep repeating this process over and over again until you're finally satisfied with how many winter lantern flies you have. You can use these winter lantern flies to craft frenzy flame pots, as well as hefty frenzy flame pots. And if you gathered all the cookbooks, you can also craft rope frenzy flame pots. It's more of the PvP side of things. But who doesn't love PvP? From the Divided Falls side of Grace that is guarded by some aging untouchables in this area, we're gonna head toward the southwest, past this little waterway here. And there'll be some dirty goats before you get to this spot, along with a bunch of dirty rats. The dirty rats aren't too big of a problem but they will murder you if you give them the chance so just run past them as quickly as possible or you can murder them it's up to you but when you get up here you'll be able to pick up the mad craftsman's cookbook one from the divided falls side of grace just travel toward the south a little ways past the little lake i guess you would call it but reach this point and then we're going to travel this way and up a little hill to this point where we can get another cookbook there will be a couple of horn scent enemies you just take them out the best you can and we're just going to speed it up just a little bit They're really grouped up in this spot, so just be careful not to get zapped. Try to take one or two out, that way you'll have to deal with less zapping. But we're going to head toward that big tree off in the distance. After you ran past those three, there shouldn't be too much more to block your way. But this is where we need to be to get Mad Craftman's Cookbook 2, which is at this exact location. And now we're just going to run down the hill to the manse. There will be a couple of headless guys out front with whatever poking out of them. I don't know what that is, but uh, you just have fun with that. Just ignore them and go ahead and enter the manse which is right here on your map. Head toward the right, and you'll be able to pick up a swollen grape. Keep going, and activate the grace. There'll be a little ghost guy there telling you not to, you know, come in closer to get out and stuff, because, you know, stranger danger. 
There will be a painting here you can attack. Will be an illusionary wall you can run through. There's a couple items throughout the mats. You can pick those up. If you want to, it's up to you. Just a couple random items here and there. And a couple big enemies you need to avoid. So we're going to avoid them the best we can. What we're trying to do is get the last cookbook. I will do a walkthrough of how to beat the main boss here later if you're interested in that. But for now, we're just going to go after the last cookbook. These guys hit pretty hard, so just run past them as quickly as you can. They will murder you. And up here is where we need to be. As you can see, those enemies are pr pretty deadly. He's still trying to murder me. So we're going to run out here. Quickly dispose of this dude. There will be a something over here. I forgot what it is. Like a smithing stone of some sort. Oh, a surging fringy flame apparently. We're going to climb up this ladder here. Come here ladder. Get up that ladder. And then there will be some raptors we have to walk over. We're going to take this path down and turn to our right. And this is where we need to be. And in this room will be a lot of rats. So be careful not to die here. We're going to run this way and quickly pick up the Mad Craftsman's Cookbook 3. Just kind of... Do a little loop around the rats. And jump over here back onto this little walkway. And let the rats fall down below. And here we'll be able to pick up a grace. And hear the ball screaming at, in agony in the background. And from here we're just going to walk out this way. There will be a few bookcases we can climb upon. Jump over here, grab this item, and then we're going to jump over here to grab this item. And go ahead and jump down here for a swollen grape. There will be a couple horn scent enemies patrolling this area. So murder them. And we're going to run back toward the beginning of this room. There will be a ladder here you can climb back up. But all we're trying to do is open the shortcut for now. Which would be right here. This will take you back to the first grace we found in the mats. We're going to turn around to this painting which is an illusionary wall. Go ahead and attack it. And we're going to climb up this ladder here. It's a long ladder, and you know how much we love ladders. And at the end of this little walkway will be a lever. After that's done, we'll just drop down here. Parkour our way over to this little bookcase. And then parkour over here. And now we're going to run as fast as our little legs will carry us and jump over here to the maiden who's gently relaxing into that chair there. She's not dead, she's just taking a long nap. Here you can pick up Nanya's torch. You can drop down here and murder this dude. To get a revered spirit ash 
And then we're gonna run this way. There'll be a couple horn tent guys that pop their heads out. We're not even gonna worry about them. We're just gonna keep running until we meet the Grace. Finally, we're gonna kick this ladder down. And then we're gonna jump over to this chandelier. And pick up another revered spirit ash. And climb up this ladder. And we're ready to fight the boss. Like I said, I'm not going to fight the boss in this video. I'll leave it on to another video of how to defeat this weird guy. But if this video has helped you, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until next time, have fun, my dudes. Did you enjoy this video? Consider subscribing to the main channel at Mr. Nobody Elden Souls where it's more focused on invading. Or the second channel at Nobody Elden Things where its focus is on helping and will be the main hub for invading for dummies. Subscribe to both and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, my tarnished. And we will see you next time. Like and subscribe or I'll death blight you in your sleep. This message has been approved by the mayor of Froggy Town. Ha <laughs> ha!